Hi, uh, I'm going to talk about the layered heterogeneity. Okay, and this is a part of our uh, bachelor level course on groundwater hydrology. Okay, in the previous lecture, we discussed about heterogeneous porous media, and that is when the permeability or hydraulic conductivity varies over a space. In other words, depending on the location of your measurement, you get a different value for permeability and hydraulic conductivity. Okay, and layered heterogeneity is one of the most common form of uh, heterogeneity in the natural porous media. That is the formation consists of layers of different materials each possessing a unique value of Ks, okay? So here you see a, 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 an example of a two-layered system that is layer one, and this is layer two, and you see each layer has its own uh, Ks1 and L1, okay? So here the question is how to calculate the permeability or hydraulic conductivity, the effective permeability or the effective hydraulic conductivity of such a layered uh, system. Okay, in this lecture, we will consider two scenarios. Uh, case one is the case of a vertical flow, that is the direction of the flow, which is indicated by this arrow, is perpendicular to the, uh, to the layering structure, and the other one is the horizontal flow. So let's first consider the case of vertical flow, okay? So consider vertical flow uh, through two horizontal layers of thickness L1 and L2 with the saturated hydraulic conductivity of Ks1 and Ks2. Under steady state flow conditions, the flux through both layers is the same, right? Because of the conservation of mass or continuity equation. That is the flux through layer one is equal to the flux through a layer two, and that is as well equal to the flux through the entire column, okay? So from the Dorsey's law, you can apply the Dorsey's law, the, the, you can write down the Dorsey's law for layer one. Q is equal to minus Ks1, that is layer one, times delta H divided by delta Z, that is H1 minus H2 divided by Z1 minus Z2, okay? You can also write Dorsey's law for layer two, that is, will be equal to minus Ks2, that because we are in layer two now, times delta H divided by delta Z, which is H2 minus H3 divided by Z2 minus Z3, okay? And which is equal to, as we already said, equal to Q. They are the same. The flux through layer one is the same as the flux through layer two, okay? So from the first equation here, from this one, you can express H2 as a function of the rest, okay? This is just a simple algebraic uh, operation. You can simply express H2 as a function of the rest. You can also do the same using this equation that is expressing H2 as a function of the other parameters, and you get this equation. Okay, so now H2 is equal to this expression. Also, H2 is equal to this expression. Therefore, you can equate the, these two expressions. That, in other words, H1 minus Q times L1 divided by Ks1 will be equal to H3 plus Q times L2 divided by Ks2, which is this one, okay? I already mentioned that, I guess, uh, that the H1, H2, H3, as indicated in this figure, is the indicate the hydraulic head at the inlet that is here, uh, interface uh, and the outlet uh, 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 and the outlet, okay? So that is H1, H2, H3. So we have now this equation, okay? So you can, let me move this one here. So you can now rearrange this equation. You bring H1 to this side of the equation. You bring this term to the other side of the equation and the factor minus Q, you end up with this expression. That is H3 minus H1 is equal to this term, okay? Also, you can rearrange this equation. Q will be equal to this term divided by this coefficient. That is L1 divided by Ks1 plus L2 divided by Ks2, okay? So let's call this one equation number one. Okay, okay, so now we can also write the Dorsey's law for the entire column, okay? So Q will be equal to a kind of a K effective, Ks effective, okay? That is in fact the parameter that we wanted to calculate, minus K effective, so Q is equal to minus K, Ks effective times delta H divided by delta Z. And in this case, delta H will be, so H3, minus H1, because we are writing the, writing the Darcy's law across the entire column now, divided by Z3 minus Z1. As you can see here, the reference is at the inlet, so therefore Z1 is equal to zero, and Z3 will be equal to, um, so vertical distance between the, yeah, the, the Z3 will be actually the vertical distance between this level and the reference level, which will be equal to L1 plus, L2, okay? That is the uh, thickness of the entire column, okay? So 
So uh, as I have uh, already mentioned, you are writing now the we are writing now the dorsal accuracy entire column q is equal to minus ks affected times h3 minus h1 divided by z3 minus z1, which is equal to minus ks affected times h3 minus h1. In instead of z3, I put L1 plus 8, L2, and Z1 is 0, okay? So now we have this equation. So in one hand, Q is equal to equation 1, and in the other hand, Q is equal to equation 2, this one, okay? So therefore, you can uh, basically equate these uh, two uh, expressions. Uh, that is minus Ks effective times H3 minus H1 divided by L1 plus L2 is equal to to the right-hand side of the equation 1. Okay, and if you do that here, so uh, H3 minus H1, H3 minus H1 is out, minus sign is out, therefore Ks effective will be equal to this one goes here, L1 plus L2 divided by L1 divided by Ks1 plus L2 divided by Ks2. And that is the formula you need to calculate the effective hydraulic conduct, effective saturated hydraulic conductivity of a two-layer uh, porous media when the flow direction is vertical uh, or perpendicular to the uh, layering structure, okay? And you can follow the same procedure here if you had more uh, um, number of layers. So in this case, we had only two layers, but you can have three, four, five, or uh, uh, even more layers, okay? So you can generalize this equation for the case of N layers, okay? And that will be Ks effective, will be equal to, so here we had two, therefore it was, L1 plus L2, when it is N layer, it is, it is L1 plus L2 plus up to Ln divided by, here you have L1 Ks1 plus L2 Ks2, that will be L1 Ks1 plus L2 Ks2 plus up to, you continue that until Ln Ksn. And also you can represent it with this one, that is sigma Li, when I changes from one to N, divided by sigma Li divided by Ksi when I uh, changes from one to n. And that is the formula that, um, that you can use to calculate the effective saturated hydraulic conductivity of the uh, uh, porous media containing n uh, different layers when the flow is vertical, that is, it is perpendicular to the layering structure, okay? And so, at the beginning, I said that we considered two scenarios. One was the perpendicular or vertical flow, which we already did that. The other case is horizontal flow. That is when the direction of the flow, as indicated by this arrow, the blue arrow here, is parallel basically to the layering structure. Again, for the case of, uh, so here we have, we are considering, uh, first we are considering a system with two layer, L1, Ks1, L2, Ks2. And here I don't derive the equation anymore, but this is relatively um, straightforward to calculate calculate uh, this Ks effective for, uh, for, for such a case, which will be equal to L1 K1 plus L2 K2 divided by L1 plus L2, okay? As you can see, it's quite different than the equation, let me move this one, that, than the equation you obtain for the case of vertical flow, okay? And also here as well, you can generalize this equation when you have uh, N uh, uh, layers, and the equation will be L1 K1 plus L2 K2 plus you can continue that until plus Ln Kn divided by L1 plus L2 plus L3 and until Ln. And you can represent it as uh, sigma Li Ki when I changes from one to N divided by sigma Li when I uh, changes from one to N. Okay, so now using these formulas, you can calculate the effective um, uh, saturated hydraulic conductivity of the layered porous media under the horizontal and vertical flow uh, condition. I think, um, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. And I hope uh, you uh, found this uh, lecture helpful. Thank you.